Hi guys and welcome to Matt Bajewski YouTube channel. Lovely to see you all today. It's a beautiful brisk day today. It's now around about two o'clock in the afternoon. Been very busy packing the parcels of your uh, beautiful crystals that you um, so kindly went on to mattbajewski.com and purchased. And uh, yeah, it's funny how the crystal always chooses you and you've chosen some beauties today. I'm just going down coast uh, shortly at around about five o'clock to pick up uh, another 53 crystals that have been lovingly made by my personal jeweler. So they're gonna be online because I finished working with them a while ago. So I'm picking them up. So they'll be online in a few in a few days, hopefully, or maybe a week or something like that. Um, let's see. So it's all good here, it's all beautiful. So today we move on from another beautiful story about um Actually, I, I just had, um, last night I had this um, thought of one of the um, moments when things happen and there's no real explanation why these things happen, but sometimes they just do. So I'll tell you the story. I was, um, I was down on the coast and a dear friend of mine asked me to uh, come down and um, she had an art gallery and... Um, we kind of agreed that what we'd do is I'd do like um, a circle evening down there in Marbella, a very beautiful place called the Golden Strip or the Golden Mile. Um, and, you know, so what I decided to do, I said to her is, look, I'll get a little um, pad with numbers, you know, like they do in raffles. And I said, and each client that comes in, each person that comes in that night, I want you to give them a number from... Uh, well, whatever, I think there was 30 or 40 people that turned up, it was beautiful. Um, I said, what we'd do is, instead of me speaking, I would let the power of spirit uh, shine through. So uh, she was very excited about that. And, um, and I noticed that she had a bandage around her hand, but I never said anything about it. And um, we continued talking about the evening. And for some reason, I placed my hand over the hand with the bandage and I just held her hand and we were talking and um, it was very beautiful and I must have been there talking to her for maybe half an hour to an hour and all the while I had my hand on her hand. Anyway, the night came, we left and the night came and I, um, I uh, started uh, by standing up and saying to everybody, it's a real pleasure to be here tonight and um, I'd like to share with you something that could be profound in your lives and that is the power of spirit and your family in the spirit world and each one of you now hold a ticket in your hand between 1 and 35, 40, whatever it is and what I am going to do is sit down quietly and I want you all to close your eyes and not to respond when I call your number out just keep your head down, keep your eyes closed and listen to your message and the message will be given to you by the power of your loved ones in the spirit world and I remember give, giving uh, these readings and one particular um, uh, number that I read out, I remember recalling lifting my arm high and saying um, number whatever, 26, 25, I said number 25, I lift my hand up. Now, what I'd like you to do, if possible, is just keep a check here and down here on this side of your arm because maybe you might find a little lump, but everything's fine, so don't you worry about it, it'll all be fine. Anyway, the night was beautiful. I said what I said and everybody left. It was beautiful. And then um, a few days later, a week later, I can't remember, but I had a call from this beautiful lady who owns the art gallery and she said, I'd like to see you. So I went down to see her again and um, we sat down in the same um, coffee bar, which is called Organic. And we were sat there and we were talking and she then explained to me um, something that was quite profound and she said Mark she said when you came to see me um, I had been bitten by a dog and this dog unfortunately had a very uh, serious bacteria poison in its mouth and what you didn't know is that I couldn't move my hand and the doctors said that it would be very likely that I wouldn't be able to move my hand properly again because this bacteria poisoning was so bad and it was very difficult because she tried to do all sorts of things like antibiotics and many things but nothing was working. She said, the day that you came to see me, for some reason, you grabbed that hand and you held on to it. And she said, I could feel this amazing energy running through me. And I'm, I'm sort of sat there going, yeah, right. I had no clue whatsoever. And she said, and after that, she said, the following day, um, I went to see my doctor and she took the bandage off to the doctor and she went like this. She said, look, 
And she said, and the doctor says, well, no, what she said to the doctor is, I met a wonderful man who was a healer who placed his hands over mine and now I can move it. And her doctor repeated or said these words, some things cannot be explained. And that was beautiful. And uh, many weeks after that, I um, got a message from this lovely French lady who um, said, I don't know, in fact, she may have, she may have come here yeah, I think she did. She came here uh, for a coffee and she said, you won't remember, but I was one of the numbers uh, at the um, Marbella um, circle you did. And she said, and what you did was you lifted your arm up and told me that there may be like a lump and just to keep a check, but everything was fine. And um, she said, I just want you to know, um, in time I kept checking and found a little lump and went and had it removed and everything was fine. The power of spirit is indeed amazing and I am not amazing. I am just like you. You have a gift um, like everybody else. And sometimes we act in a way which is called natural, which unfortunately a lot of us don't do now because of the power of the mind has taken over the power of the heart. And once we get a grip to that and realize that actually sometimes our intuition is not having to think about something, but just simply reacting. When a child falls to the floor, a mother runs over and the first thing the mother does is rub the knees if the child has scraped the knees because that's a natural form of healing. The mother doesn't even need to think about it. It's something that you would do, we would all do. And I believe with my hand on my heart, we all have that gift, that power, that intuition. And sometimes it comes from nowhere, but that's normally the best place. Coming from nowhere is coming from everywhere. It is coming from the universe. Everything is back to front. So when we say it's coming from nowhere, what we should be saying is it's coming from the source or coming from the truth or the, the, the light. The, there's so many words we can use, but it comes from where it's meant to come from. The true energy of understanding, the true energy of enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. It's there for us to all, for us all to feel at any given moment. But the secret to that is we have to learn to, I think one of the things we have to learn to do is trust in our own intuition and believe in our own power without having to listen to other people to tell us how we should do something. A lot of the times when people come here to the academy, I have to unlearn them from them believing that they have to learn A, B, C, or one, two, three, or this step or that step. And that's just ridiculous. That's got nothing to do with your experience, your gift, your talents. Your talents and your gift are within you and you hold the power to heal anybody and to heal yourself. It is just that what we have to learn to bring back again rather than look outside of ourselves to find the answers to things they're all within us at any given moment and like me when I held somebody's hand I had no clue what was happening but she did and she felt that so today I think the moral of this story is never ever doubt the power of your gifts and abilities within you don't look for it within somebody else but look for it within yourself Know that you are the answer to everything and you can heal your life and you can help other people along your journey. You are the guru. You are the gift. You are amazing. I love you all and thank you for subscribing to Matt Bajewski YouTube channel. Tomorrow night I will be on the Richie Allen radio show and please join me if you can. It's at 8.30. Um, I'll try and put a link on this um, video for you to all join me. And I think Rich is lovely enough to um, uh, answer some of your questions you may want to ask me while I'm on that show. So it's going to be a one hour and 15 minute special. So you can ask away questions. So if you go to www. Richie Allen, um, I think it's Richie Allen Radio Show dot com or Richie Allen um, dot co dot uk, you'll find him and there'll be a link there to listen live and. Um, you just send a message to him via Twitter or something like that and I'll do my best to answer. Or if you just want to come and say hello, please do. I would love to hear from you and anything that you'd like to say, anything that you've felt over these past year or so that you've 
listened to some of these videos that they've helped in any way or something magical has happened to you that you want to share on the show that other people can listen to and realize that there is magic out there your message your experiences what you've been through is equally as important than mine so please join me tomorrow night at 8 30 um, on the Richie Allen radio show love you all guys from my heart to yours may talk to you tomorrow if I have time love you catch this bye guys thanks for everything love you <laughs>